Praise the Lord, global Christian friends, and uh, welcome, and we give God the honor, the glory, and the praise as we are in our studies of Revelation and the Bible. We say the book of Revelation, but you're not going to be able to get into the book of Revelation properly without understanding the thing that Jesus speaks because if we went into the 25th and the 26th chapter of the Gospel of Matthews, we would basically cover uh, the whole of the book of Revelation. Uh, there is one thing I want you to be able to do and that is, uh, uh, I, I want you to see something, and I want you to see it uh, in the sense that it is given unto us. And uh, it's in Revelation, naturally. And that is uh, the 20th chapter and the 11th verse. And I want you to be able to listen to what it says and uh, look at the meaning. And this is also for those who may not uh, want to believe uh, that such a thing is possible. But listen to what it says in Revelation chapter 20, verse 11. John said, uh, I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it. Now, I want you to understand that uh, everyone will not have uh, the stability to be able to stand uh, the appearance of that great white throne. But look at what follows. It says, From whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. Well, you notice that in the beginning of the Bible it said that God created the heaven and the earth. And here we see that they fled away the things that he made in the beginning fled away and keep this in mind they were there before man was keep that in mind and uh, if they are capable of flying away at the presence of the Lord which was before the creation of man, consider those who don't believe in him. Consider those who may not think that such is the case. But there was found no place for them. Think about that statement. If you know how broad the heavens are, or the universe is for that matter, some 93 billion miles across, and look at the planet Earth in the conglomeration of all of those uh, concoctions that are there within the heavens, yet they fled away at the presence of him that sat on that great white throne. Listen to the words. If you have a King James Bible, read the words. And uh, you who may not believe that such is the case, I can tell you, you don't believe the testimony that God gives about the ending of the world. Think about that statement. When heaven and earth 
flee at its coming. I don't have to remind you where you are. You are on earth. And if you were to say, well, we will go to the space station, or we will go to uh, uh, outer planets, or outer solar systems, you can't escape there because it said uh, heaven and earth fled away. And we must understand what it means to be able to see heaven and earth fleeing and flying away. We're not going to get into the physics of that. We're not going to get uh, into the uh, physical attributes of the physical nature of these things, but the mere fact that heaven and earth fled away that is something that need to be understood and understood with the most infinity of mind that you can understand. Heaven and earth fled away. Well, where would you be if heaven and earth fled away? Where would the earth be except joining the heaven as it flee away from him that sit or that sat on that great white throne. Now there's a lot of scriptures in, in the Bible that pertains to this but we want you to see and understand. I don't mean no harm but let's just face it. Uh, if heaven fly away the sun is in the heaven. The moon is in the heavens. The stars are in the heavens. The galaxies are in the heavens. And when these things fly away, it's very simple. Where are you? Where will you be? Where can you stand? There's no place for you to stand. There is no heaven for you to enter into, whether you enter into heaven by a spacecraft or by translation or by ascension. It will not be there for you to enter therein. God bless you until the next time.